Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. All right, so what I'm picking up on here, yeah, and here comes somebody wanting to apologize, wanting to give you a love offer, all right? Um, this is somebody from your past that put you in a third party, okay? They may have even caused some kind of weird competition. Um, they chose someone else over you. Now they're making a decision. When the Ace of Cups came out, it was the first card out. And I, I you know, I could have said, uh, well, this is new love coming in, something like that. But no, I'm seeing this as um, a person who's making a decision when it comes to love they know the one that they want and that person is you with the star energy um there's no one like you like this person um you're you may be on a glow up you could be in the public eye have some kind of internet platform or something like that um very loving very um intuitive extreme like really intense intuitive abilities here um, but yeah, there's no one like you. You're different from everyone else. And this person, they can't stop thinking about you. Like you're the one who's on their mind 24 seven. They're in a physical relationship with someone else who's been trying to like compete with you. She may even, this karmic may even want to come towards you and have some kind of face off, some kind of confrontation. Um, but I feel like this masculine is now feeling very betrayed by whoever they chose over you because she has new love. She's been cheating behind this person's back, maybe even in their own home, okay? And this masculine is finding it out. Now this karmic individual, this queen of swords energy, right? Um, she's scared. She's um, under a lot of pressure. She's having a lot of anxiety. She's really worried um, that she's going to be losing this person. Yeah, because it's coming to an end. She may not know where to go. She may be even having nightmares, some sleepless nights over this. But I'm seeing a masculine who is making a decision when it comes to love. Nobody, um, nobody makes this person feel the way you do. Okay. And they, uh, no one can replace you either. Okay, so yeah, the one who put you out in the cold is regretting that now. Uh, now they want to come back in. They're realizing they're in love with you. They, they're realizing that um, the one that they chose over you just betrayed them. They chose the wrong person and they put the right one out in the cold. Um, this could be somebody that... Uh, maybe they underestimated you, you know, maybe they thought that you weren't enough. They saw you in this five of pentacles energy and they just turned their back on you like you were nothing. Like for real. They could have left you in a time of vulnerability, struggles. You know, um, if you were, if you were already like with this person and, and this, uh, they met this karmic and left you for this queen of swords, right? Um, they kind of put you out on the street. Like they completely turn their back. Now this person wants to come in and apologize. Uh, you could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be an Aquarius, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now this person is like, I'm really sorry. Yeah, see? Toxic energy. You know, there could have even been some spell work done. Um, I've seen a dark priestess here. I feel like this karmic is doing some kind of spell work. Or if they did, it's all um, come back on them, especially with the moon card out here. They're doing some kind of spell work. I don't like it. I feel like they are, um, they're getting someone else to do it for them. Okay. So now this karmic is doing whatever she can, not just to get some kind of revenge on you. I don't know why you have anything to do with her cheating on your person, um, and your person finding out about it. 
okay? This could be also something like your person finding out through tarot, messages through tarot, or you could be the tarot card reader, and now secrets are being exposed, and this karmic is really upset about it. I feel like she's... Um, She's doing some spell work on you, Collective, because, I don't know, for some reason she thinks this is your fault. Uh, yeah. And I feel like you're just trying to move forward. Um, you may feel like there's some kind of blockage in your way, or maybe your growth... Um, has been slowed down or something. I feel like that's what she's trying to do is slow you down or make it so that you can't move forward. She may be trying to slow down your money and make it so that your uh, creative ideas don't get off the ground. You know, um, she, I feel like she's trying to do something to your success and your money. Okay, but you're in this earth angel energy. It ain't, it ain't happening. I, maybe she's waiting to see if it happens or not. Okay, this is somebody waiting for that ship to come in. So she's, I feel like she's watching you, possibly on the internet, right, or social media. And I feel like she is, um, she's, she's watching to see if her spell work has had any kind of effect, but it's not. I feel like you're protected in Earth Angel energy. You're very peaceful. You're very calm. She could be doing some kind of spell work to make you confused, make you feel like you need to second guess yourself, you know, low on confidence, low on self-esteem. All right. She wants you to not believe in yourself. She wants you to um, think that you're always going to be in peasant clothing with an empty basket. Okay, so if you've been feeling, if you've been feeling like that, that's I feel like um, possibly her the spell work. But you're bursting through that. Okay, you're still moving forward, and you're I feel like you're protected as an earth angel. See, at this point, at this stage in this journey. Um, in this cycle, this spell work that she's doing is forbidden, okay? Nobody is, people are no longer allowed um, to send um, divine beings anymore spell work. So I feel like it's going to come right back on her, and I feel like it did. Now she's in all of this turmoil. See, I feel like this is where she wanted you to be, was Nine of Swords, she wanted you to be scared. So she's trying to create some kind of fear in you. Um, fear, doubt in yourself. Okay? Uh, worry, right? Some kind of panic. If you've been noticing, maybe you've been feeling kind of panicky, jittery. Okay? But it's coming back on her. Now she's experiencing this. All right? But yeah, yeah, I feel like it's all coming back on her now. Or whoever, whoever sent you this bad energy, it's, they're both getting it. I feel like it's a karmic and somebody that she hired maybe to um, do this spell work on you. Yeah, see, both of them are burdened by this. It's all coming back on them now. And I feel like both of these people who were working together to try to bring you down, um, they're, I feel like they're both in the Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords, nine, or Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands energy, okay? Yeah, and I feel like this Dark Priestess, whoever sent you this energy... Um, she's feeling that burden, okay? Th this could have been a lot of spell work that was done. It's all coming back on them, okay? And I feel like it's not affecting your abundance at all. Um, uh, it, it, it may have made you feel fatigued, tired. You may have felt fear and panic and worry. But you've broken free from that. You've, you've burst through it. You've had a breakthrough. 
of that energy, okay? And now you're starting to see your abundance rise. You're starting to see all of your effort pay off. Um, I, I feel like you've been through a transformation and you're divinely led here with that bird on your hand and this earth angel energy, yes. And spirit wants you to win. This is your calling that you're doing. And it's becoming abundant and successful. See, none of their spell work made any difference at all in your life. It did in theirs. It did in theirs. And I feel like maybe it's affecting your person as well. Um, because they're, now they've got all these burdens. I feel like everyone involved in that toxic situation um, is being very, very burdened. And it's um, partially due because of all of the spell work and, and the lies and things that were kept hidden. You know, I feel like somebody is doing a lot of heavy drinking as well. Someone's thinking about possibly, you, yeah, your money. I feel like there's a masculine who is just dragging, you know, they're, um, they're exhausted. This could be somebody having a lot of back, back pain lately or um, like neck pain. But yeah, they're thinking about all that they could have had with you. If they would have, look, you've got nine pentacles here just for you, right? The most you can have in the deck is ten. There it is. Um, but you're single. You're missing a pentacle in this picture, right? Um, and that, pent that last pentacle that you don't have, it stands for a soulmate connection that's built to last. This masculine here, they realize, had they made you a legitimate offer, that they could have their wishes fulfilled. They could have the Ten of Pentacles with you and the Ten of Cups, right? Because I feel like you gave this person your love. They sniveled at it. They could have even been um, bragging about it, very smug, right? And they, they didn't want your cup and they didn't want to give you a legitimate offer. They chose somebody else over you and thought it was, maybe they thought it was no big deal they could have had the Ten of Pentacles with you. They could have had the Ten of Cups with you. If they accepted your cup and if they gave you a legit offer, they could have had ultimate wish fulfillment with an empress. Now, this, is, this is one of the reasons why you stand out of a, of a crowd, okay? Because you're every queen in the deck. You're very independent. You're successful. You're gorgeous. You, you, you've had a transformation. You probably, you've probably never looked more beautiful, no matter what age you are, okay? You're smart. You're dedicated. You're strong. You're loyal. Everybody wants an empress. And the empress can't really be replaced because she's every queen in the deck. And you're in this earth angel energy. You're solid. You're stable. You're wifey material. You know, now this person realizes what all they sniveled at before. And, and on top of it, they've been betrayed and cheated on by a karmic individual. And now you're leaving. Because everybody treated you poorly. Okay? You've been backstabbed and betrayed. You know, now this person, I feel like they can't stand it. Yeah, and now you're leaving, right? You could be, you could be a Cancer, you could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy on, heavy on Virgo, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aquarius. Yeah. And now this person realizes that they missed out on love. Now, see this cup here? That's, that's this ace. They had a blessing. They had the right one for them right in front of them. And they sniffled at it. They turned their nose up at it for somebody else who didn't have any love for them. Right? There's, there's nothing in these cups. They're, they're crying over spilt milk. 
So this person could be crying over you right now, wanting to get, now they want to get back together. But like I said, this is a cycle that's closing out. You've completed this cycle. You're now moving forward in your North Node, having a victory, feeling very confident, very poised and ready for new things. Um, you're, you're balanced out, so you're not hurting over this person anymore. And you're ready to move on with your life. They know it. Uh, uh, as they sit here, they're thinking to themselves that you're always going to be the one that got away. Oh my gosh, they had an empress here. So somebody who's realizing this, that they're very burdened too, um, at the same time in this karmic situation... Yeah, now they're on fire for you. Now they want a new beginning. Okay, they can't stop thinking about you in hermit energy. More Virgo. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I feel like, too, um, this karmic is upset and jealous, right? Um, because no matter what she's tried to do, one, she can't stop this person from loving you and wanting you. And two, she can't bring you down she can't slow you down okay the chariot is something that can't be stopped except by the hands of the divine um yeah and you're upgrading you're leveling up you're becoming more abundant <laughs> she's about to i mean she's kind of trying to do everything here She's doing as much as she can to hang on to this masculine while she cheats on them behind the scenes. Um, I I'm telling you, everything is caving in on this karmic, okay? For real. And I feel like she's kind of in disbelief. I can't believe that the collective is still going strong, okay? Yeah, and this masculine, they can't stop thinking about you. They want that cup. See, this is what they need. They need your love back in order to equal the Ten of Cups. They need the cup that's in your hand. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They need the cup that's in your hand in order to get their wishes fulfilled. But until then, they're really in this Ten of Wands energy. They're in the Ten of Wands when they could have had the Ten of Cups, Ultimate Wish Fulfillment, and the Ten of Pentacles with an Empress. This person's in a whole lot of regret, but this was their choice, you know, and I feel like you did respect their choice. Yeah, see, they should be at your side. That's what this person is feeling like. They should be at your side. The Emperor and the Empress together. This was, you were the one for them, and they full-on realize it, okay? So what action is this person going to take? They're coming forward. They're coming forward with a love offer uh, and an apology, but you may not feel the same way about them. Um, they had in-and-out energy before. This is somebody that you may feel like you can't trust. Okay, really strong connection, but the trust isn't there anymore. Okay, and that's like a major ingredient. You know, you have to have trust in a healthy relationship. Um, they're going to be telling you that they're in love with you. This person's about to confess. Okay, they're going to tell you they want to put the work in now. Um, they want to make you a legitimate offer, even though they don't have much left to offer. Okay. I feel like they're going to tell you that they were a fool. I'm getting the sense that you may not want, you may not want this offer anymore. I'm seeing you in the Knight of Swords energy collective. Maybe telling this person, no, it's too late. Or after everything that's been done, no, <laughs> right? Um, yeah. I feel like they're going to be kind of pleading. Let me do everything that I can. You're going to, you may even think this person is trying to manipulate you somehow. You may see them as being a fool. They could be 
acting kind of weird when they show up, okay? Kind of tripping through this, uh, this communication. Because I do see them coming in pretty fast. But if I'm, you're in this Knight of Swords energy where I'm ready to speak my truth. And I'm going to do it quickly, okay? With a lot of intensity, yeah. They're going to be... They're going to be like, I was such a fool. Please, what can I do to get this back? Um, I, I want my wishes fulfilled. What can I do to get you to love me again? Okay. If we come together, we can have all of this. We can have our wishes. We can have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. That's what this person is going to be telling you, more or less. Yeah. See, I feel like spirit is already moving you forward. Okay. Some of you could even be making a house move, a location change. You're being divinely led here. And I feel like um, you may even see some kind of red flag or hear some kind of alarm or something. There's something about um, possibly what this person has said about you behind your back. There could be something um, that's coming up in the future that they may betray you with again. Okay, but you're going to be getting some kind of warning sign. And Spirit is leading you um, to go have a new beginning for yourself. Okay, and keep moving forward. I feel like this person needs to come in and confess how they feel and make this right and give you an apology. But I feel like right after they do that... You're going to get some kind of warning or a message that they may betray you again in the future. So, um, yeah, I, I feel like this person really hasn't done their work. They may have learned a lesson, but they haven't done the work on themselves. Um, they're kind of going from one bad relationship towards you. I feel like maybe they still have some karmic debt to pay because they are getting some karma up here in this situation. Or the spirit doesn't want this person to bring baggage into a relationship with you. Okay, but yeah, something is going to you're gonna get you're gonna hear something or see something that's going to make you notice some kind of red flag, okay? feel like spirit's protecting you. I, and I'm getting that you're going to continue to move on. You're going to listen to the divine. You already don't trust this person. And um, I feel like this is, this is closure, though. This is the end to a cycle. I feel like this person's going to want to beg, okay? They're going to want to beg. Um, but it's, yeah... Because they're never going to be able to forget about you. I saw the hermit on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, but this is a closing to a cycle, you guys, with the Wheel of Fortune. But your person finally, they boss up enough and get their courage enough to come forward and finally do the right thing. But that doesn't mean that they're ready for a relationship right now with, with an empress. Okay, this person has to learn. Um, some things. They have to grow a little bit. Um, they have to do their shadow work. They have to heal from some stuff before they're ready to have a relationship with you. And you may that may be what you're going to tell them. I don't know. But you're definitely um, handling this here like this knight of swords and you're cutting them out. You're speaking your truth and I feel like you're moving forward. Yeah.